you guys. So I'm going to try to do this new thing where I relax on stream and have a nice time and dick around. And I have a hard time doing that with Dota. So I'm going to try to do that with Hearthstone right now. Fingers crossed. And maybe play some other games afterwards because right now Dota isn't super fun to me because I'm waiting for the new patch to come out. So I would like the new patch to come out. God, I don't remember my deck. I drafted this last night before I went to sleep. So I don't remember exactly what's in here. I feel like I'll keep that, but it's probably not. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes, it's working. I knew I had a couple of dragon in hand cards. My resolution is so high. This is great. Hello. Yes. Um... I feel like I would rather drop this first. I'm really glad I kept the dragon. These are the two cards that I drafted. How long have I been playing Hearthstone? A really long time, like uh, since since it came out, basically. But it's on on and off. I don't play that much. I have like a moderate amount of stuff, but not like a shitload by any means. Yeah, Dota is not a good way to chill. I agree with that completely. Wheel, this isn't really a good way. Should I rather pay the trade up? Or the silver hand with the Anoyatron? I think I would rather do what now? I feel like it should hit his face. But then he can kill this. I guess I don't really care that much. I'd rather hit his face. Hearthstone, yeah, it's way more relaxing than Dota. I agree. I was like, I missed the last two streams. Um, pretty good. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just, I just got wrecked. By not board controlling. Until I get to five. Well, this works. Um, yeah, I got kind of wrecked here. I could annoy Tron, I guess, but it's not going to do anything. I think it's better if I just. One day I'll be a real knight. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That's actually a good one drop, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I got wrecked just now. Yeah, I got punished. I should have just traded. It's probably just safer to trade. I just don't really like the trade that much. Anyways, I'll kill somebody in this turn at least. Probably kill the uh... Eh... Do I kill the wolf? I feel like I should do the bear. Nah, I'm just gonna... They'll kill my dragon next turn I think, I but... So that'll go up to 3, 4 damage. I think it's better if I kill this. It lowers the overall damage by a lot. I'll kill this here. I think this is the move. Yeah, I'll probably make a YouTube video out of all these games. I have, um... play CS afterwards. I just um I just I just want to stream more often, but I don't always want to play Dota that much, so I think it'll be better if I just play other games sometimes. Because then I can just hang out. Um this I'm zero and zero right now, I haven't I just started. He's getting like super value out of his cards. But he is running out of cards, so I've got that going for me. I definitely want to heal, I think this is the best move. To the pretender. Even though it's still not going to be like the best thing. Get slightly more value out of my dude. At the very least, love to hero power it. Do I enjoy playing the custom games? Um, 
Yeah, I don't play them that much in my free time, though. I, I would rather play them with, with friends, and most of the time they're they're fun, but they're not amazing. This is a really good card to have with Priest or with Mage, I think. Yeah, like, they're getting good, he's getting good trades out of the cards, but... He's got a Venture Co. I think what I want to do... That's five, that's seven... You know what, this would be a really good Anoitron run. But I don't really have a whole lot of other what plays. No. I can't play this. And I don't want to silence this because it's making his minions more expensive. So it's better to do Anoitron, Ice Rager, and then Armor, I guess. Because this will hurt him for a round. Because then he's going to have to play more for minions. You can never get into Hearthstone meta. You played so much magic in L5R. I don't know what L5R is. I mean, I played magic quite a bit in high school. Um, one nice thing about... Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, one really nice thing about Hearthstone compared to Magic is that things are a little bit more straightforward, kind of. Um, you could get that taunt. I don't think it's that bad. Practice makes perfect. I think I'm just going to hit his face again. Um, Hearthstone is a little bit more... You don't have to worry about mana curve, for example, like you always have mana for your spells consistently. Um, I think that's kind of one of the really nice things about Hearthstone. Um, I don't know, I, I didn't really play Magic on a high level or anything. I would, I, I basically just bought cards and I did what I could with the cards that I got, is basically how I did it. And I feel like I could have gotten a lot more value, oh, I like that a lot. But I do kind of want to play a Drake, but no, it's okay. Oh, I don't get a armor, it's the only problem. But I would like to hit this rather than trading because then I can board clear. I think it's fine if I just play this, this, and board clear. I'm okay with that. Because as long as he doesn't like hex this or something, I'll get a lot of value out of it. Um, well, I guess if I'm going to do this, I might as well not take the damage then. Should just do this. And then I can gain health next turn if he doesn't kill it. It's a little greedy, I guess, but. Uh, will I play Heroes of the Storm? I don't know if I'll play Heroes of the Storm. I haven't played Heroes of the Storm in so long. It's actually been forever for me. So this is really bad. Um. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to save the bash. I'll just gain, like, four health. Although, at the same time... If I play this without bashing, he's just going to trade it. And then I'm still in a shit situation. I could hit that, I guess. And then drop it. But even then, it's not very good. I think that's probably my best move, unfortunately. I don't really like it much, but... Cause he's just gonna ping it, but I think that's what I have to do. Cause that way if he trades here, at least I can bash it afterwards. a demon okay um well this is good i can trade this do this gain armor play this armor if i trade this i'll just get pinged he'll ping me anyway so i hit face i'm pretty tanky right now even if he trades this with a ping i'm about to get two cards so it's not like the worst I don't know, I don't really like trading super much, but it's less dangerous. Seven would put me at like nine. I feel more comfortable hitting his face, I guess. I don't know. I ended up being wrong earlier, maybe it's wrong again. I'm not very good at Hearthstone. I think I'm okay, but I'm not that good. Yeah, it was, he's gonna have a nuke or something. But if he had a fireball, I feel like I was gonna lose anyways, even if I traded, or he's got a pyroblast. Like, it doesn't matter. If I would have traded there, I still was going to lose, I think. Because he only had to do, like, 
Like, all I did was delay my death by, like, one or two turns. I don't think I was going to be able to come back. So I don't think that was necessarily the wrong play. It might have been, but... Why do I pick Warrior Arena? Because I don't give a fuck. I, like, I, I don't know. I play this game to have fun. I'm not necessarily trying to do it just to get gold. And I only play this game when I'm usually pretty bored. If I'm, like, I can't commit to, like, a full game of anything, and I don't want to fully pay attention to the game I'm playing, then I play Hearthstone. It's kind of what I do. Gerash versus... I will fight with honor. Victory or death. Yeah, I, I know Ted's the time, of course. Reno Warner. I got this as one of my epic cards, but I didn't really like the other ones that I got. I mean, it's a cool card, but I don't think it's that great. Don't know if I actually want it in my hand or not. I'm gonna room. Mm. I mean, it could potentially trade really well. I don't really have a good way to do execute damage anyways. I don't know. CSGO subs, no promises. I could do... I'd rather just drop this on turn one, I think, and try to draw a better... I'll keep the execute, because that's my only execute that I got. This is a much better hand, I like this a lot. Now, I probably don't want to power this guy out. I'd probably rather wait to play a po three power, give you attack plus inspire. I don't even have any fucking weapons. Oh, I've got this one, but... Um, yeah. Thoughts on Patron Warrior? I don't even know that card. No, I slept really well last night, actually. That's good. I'm gonna get wrecked. About to get some inefficient trades going on. I'm actually a little surprised he didn't hit me there. Um, if I armor, I gain a 1-1 one, one minion. If I play a card, my overall board control is much better. What now? I don't really like armoring much here. I don't think it's that great. Counters what he did, I guess. And it'll give me a potential Divine Shield. I think I'd rather drop the Croc, I think. So it's not super huge commitment. This is probably um, Avenge, so I don't really want to kill. If I kill this, then it'll be a 5-4 with Divine Shield, which I don't want to deal with. So I'd be rather purged. just... That's probably why he didn't hit me. So, because it's Avenge, I probably... Be purged. Be purged. Be purged. Be purged. I'll, I'd probably be rather be just hit face, I think, is be the best move here. So it's almost for sure Avenge. Play the sparring partner. Uh, do what to give it taunt? I mean, I, I guess, but. God, this card's so fucking good. Um, that's fairly worthless. Well, I don't really want to execute this, but I kind of feel like I have to because it gets fucking overpowered as soon as you start inspiring that shit. Um, I don't really have a good solution here. I'm gonna have to trade two cards for one, because I, I just like can't leave this out, I feel. That's one. I guess I could still play this guy. And then it's gonna still make this guy really strong. But I can't trade here and then execute. If I just had like an uh, a weapon or something I'd be fine, I think, but unfortunately don't. Or what I can do is hit this, give this taunt, he'd get a Murloc out of it, which is probably terrible. I feel like I just have to trade that. Because if I don't, I'm going to get wrecked, so... I feel like I have to do that, I don't know. Even with him getting that, I don't know. Commanding Shout. Oh, I guess. Oh, you draw a card, I forgot about that. Commanding Shout, Execute, and then I still had a 2-1 on the board. Um, but then I wouldn't have had a 3-3 on the board. 
I don't know. Maybe that was the move, because then I would have had less card loss. Guess you're right, that might have been better. Merlock Knight is just so strong. Like, it's hard to deal with. Alright, we got the cards. So, if I play Venture Comb to get wrecked, so it might just be better for me to clear the board. It's not exactly the best value here, but. Especially because I'm about to be hit for, for six. Um, I mean, that was a 3 3 anyway, so if I taunted this guy, I wasn't going to do shit. It was just going to trade bad, so. Haha. <laughs> sick 5 6, dude. I'm about to lose, though, kind of. Oh, that is a prime taunt target. Um, it's four. I don't quite have enough for everything. I almost feel like I have to hit this because it's a five one. It'll trade so good with anything. If I play both of these, he'll just hit that with that, and then I'll still be in a really shit position. I feel like this deck blows. I feel like it does nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna taunt this guy. I'm gonna armor, and I'm just gonna fucking hit this. Cause I have to clear it from the board, I think. I only took three from it, I guess, which isn't the worst. Not sure though. I know, I'm gonna get an 0-3. This will be a fast hearth hearthstone stream. Talking about faster than light. Now's kind of the point where I'm just fucked no matter what. Do I armor or draw a card? I think I'm just kind of dicked. Even this is still gonna trade two and then have another turn. So I'd rather do this one. Give me that one card. Yeah, this deck blows. This deck blows big time. Play ROTMG. What the heck is that? Oh, nice. Alright, I definitely lost. Reporting for duty. Mount up! I think I'm gonna lose. Not 100%. But I think so. Um, heal a little bit, I guess. It's usually what happens with Warrior and Arena. I don't know, some of these... Maybe I just got a bad draft, maybe I'm bad at drafting. Could be lots of things. The card's actually quite good. Oh, they put little icons behind the text now, I see. I believe that I've lost. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna back out of the sun. Alright, O3 the dream. What's what's wrong with me putting uh, my face in front of the chat? What if I don't want you to read my chat? Do you ever think about that? Consider this. More paladins. Paladins really good right now. I think. With honor. Victory or death. I 
All right. Um, sure. I have a grim patron, but I don't even have like any <laughs> any viability with it. I didn't. I don't have anything to deal damage to my minions or anything. Fucking warrior. I think part of the problem is that the hero power is just so bad. It doesn't give you any board control at all. It literally just buys you more time. So you have to have board control from your cards, otherwise your hero just just fucking sucks. Probably an avenge. Yeah, I have to hide my FTL strats. That's true. I actually feel pretty good at FTL. I haven't played in a really long time. Maybe I'll play it today. I'd have to download it though. Stealth and Oitron. Sure. Wow, it's actually a get down thing? Holy fuck. Who could predict that? People draft that card? Are you fucking kidding me? How do people. He fucking played that before I played any creature. Like, why the fuck would you do that? That's so stupid. What the fuck? I mean, it's mana curve efficient, but that's it. Like, what if I played a 2-3? He just gets wrecked. Oh, man. Bomb is OP. Like, missile, but it can't get shot down. Okay. Um... This looks like a pretty good taunt position to have, because this guy is going to get super powered from it. I think I would taunt and uh, zombie chow here. He's full HP anyways, so I've got the... I mean, it was it was a bad play. I felt that's all. For duty. But it is arena, so you never really know like what your what your creatures will be. Um, okay, I think it's time to call master here and draw a shitload of cards. Trade that. Trade that. I'm tempted to just hit his face though. Also, I could drop the grim patron. I think this would be an okay time to do it. Like, I want a cult master, but everything's gonna be super consecratable. It's already a little consecratable. If I play this and he consecrates, I just get fucked. If I play this and he consecrates, it's fine. I feel like I'd rather play Grim Patron. There's very few times where I feel like I can play Grim Patr Patron because I have a board advantage, and I feel like this is one of them. So I think I'm going to do it. Maybe this isn't the play, but... I could have drawn one card with Cult Master, but... I'm just going to... I want to hit face so goddamn bad. It's seven damage. But I do have a I have a chow though, so I'm just gonna I don't like doing that, but I feel like because I have a chow it's kind of a waste, because if he just consecrates, then he heals back to like two. Two down. It'd be a waste anyways. Now no, I can't really use the Grim Patron. But I can use Cult Master. Oh hell yes. Don't have a dragon. Now I have a dragon. So that is a 3-3 three, three with charge. Unfortunately, I can't drop Cult Master and that. Um, I could drop, drop this and trade these two into him, which would be good. Or I could play the Cult Master and trade this into him, draw a card and have a pretty good board, but then he gets to kill this, so I guess I'll get another, I think that's probably the best move. I think the card draw here is just way too, way too good to pass up, and I think what I'm going to do is just leave that there. Because if I trade this, he's going to have potentially a better board. I basically gamble a card draw in here, but I don't know, this feels like the right move to me. You know what I should have done is I should have hit that. That was really stupid. I should have just hit it. Because then I would have guaranteed a card. 
he wouldn't have board control. That was really stupid. I was, I was so worried about saying this is like the greediest of all the play possibilities that I could have done just now. I feel if he if he can clear the annoy annoytron somehow, then I'm fucked. If he can't, it looks like he can't because he he doesn't have four mana. Okay, I'm alright with that. Now I can still. Uh, I should have traded the Grim Patron. He's gonna heal it. Okay. Okay. He just wasted a card. That was really weird. All right. So now I can play this to charge it and kill it. Oh, or I could play this. Only problem is if I play that, I can't kill this. That's three damage. I could nuke that, but then I guess I could trade that there and then hit face. That would be all right. Or I could play this. It's a three, three trade it. I kind of want to save this to buff up the patron because it gives them a better chance of reproducing. I'm happy at this point to trade cold master. So that to that, and then I have five mana and that's two creatures dying. So this would be four. I could just play the dragon because I have another dragon, don't I? Yeah, it's right here. I think I'd rather just do that. Play this. Trade this. And then I'll just play, um, play the dragon. And trade this. That way he still can't play reinforce. I have a fairly strong board. I have huge threat with a Grim, pa Grim Patron if he plays anything under two power. So potentially dicks whatever he wants to play. See now I get to I get free Grim Patrons. Like super Grim Patrons, but he has to because at this point he needs to fold the board. Aha! I don't have any weapons anyways. Okay, so and I have a hungry dragon. Um, corruptor that, then I have three left, which gives me that. And yeah, I'm cool with this. It looks like I'm gonna get a win, guys. Guess that's what it looks like. I think I would rather do... Or I could hit that and then buff up the one that gets summoned. I think I'm going to do that. Let's do this. Because that's the one that I want to stay alive anyways. And I definitely don't want to waste 6 damage on one of those one ones, so I'm just going to hit face here. Now my board's pretty fucking strong. I think this is the... This is a good move. Let's try... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I got really lucky. Only other thing that would have been maybe worse is this one. So that was that was really lucky. If you would have gotten this, this or this, I would have had to I would have lost another big creature. Alright, super lucky. Give your attack plus one. This would be really good if I actually had a weapon, but I actually don't have a weapon. Alright, Bash is perfect here. You can also armor, loot hoarder, blah blah blah. Um This feels pretty Pretty easy, and then I can trade and get another Grim Patron. Well, let's. Should I trade one of these or should I go for an easy one? I feel like I should do this one. And. Might as well. Let's get some board clears, which is gonna be this guy. And then I can also heal with it. I think this is probably the best I could do this run. That's good. And this guy will just be for cleaning up um, little dudes. Gotta win! You don't waste damage if you get board control. I guess so. But... I don't know. I don't like... Trading, like, especially because my dragons were like 6 4. I don't like hitting a 1 1 with a 6 4 when I could just hit face and do 6 damage. Like, the difference of 5 damage and having a 1 1 on board, I feel like that trade is. is uh, advantageous to a favor in Arena. I might be wrong, but. Versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Victory or death! Let's hope that he doesn't play another get down. It's literally all paladins, what the heck. Oh, this is a fucking opening hand right here. Oh wait, I'm going first though, that sucks. If I was going second, this would be perfect, because then I could play a two and then a two. But now I'm like, behind. I have too many twos. 
But at least I get variety. I'll, okay, literally all twos. Um, see what he plays. If he plays nothing, I'll play the river car, I think. Or I could play the novice engineer to get card advantage. Alright, that's bad. Uh, I'll play the sparring partner, I guess. Because I'd rather... Yeah, but I like sparring partner with novice engineer. That looks good. I don't think I can play this. Maybe I could. I could play River Croc and an Oitron. Even that's dangerous. I think I'd rather just play Sparring Partner. If he gets like Divine Shield or something, I'm fucked though. So maybe it's better to do River Croc. I feel like this is safer. Let's try this. This is dangerous because if it doesn't work out and he board clears it, then he's gonna have a 5 1. It's like one of the nastiest cards to play against in the start of the game. If you don't have a way to deal with it. Because it can potentially just lose you like 10 life. Dragno, stupid. Will I do any fan games later? Um, no promises. How about. I don't like. I'm like so if inefficient here. I played nothing on turn one. I can only play one thing on turn three. I've already wasted two mana. I feel like I have to annoy Tron. I don't have to, I guess. Play like Novice or something. I don't need more cards though. Maybe we'll play a Loot Hoarder. I just feel like it's a bad Anoitron play. It's like not that bad for him to hit it with twice. And I don't quite... I don't know, I feel like I need to start board controlling even if it doesn't do that much. Uh, I don't think face here is good. I, must I think I need to start board controlling. Job done. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing. The, I don't know. You could turn that off. My mouth very, very That's a bad sign. Is this deep? It's a pretty good card. Reporting for duty. Alright, and now he gets that. We will trade. Alright, I'm about to get fucked because he's gonna do 5 damage to me. I don't really think. Like, even if I play. Oh, I just got kinda lucky. I think that is my solution. I think I have to do that. Otherwise, I would lose too much HP right there. Although, he gets super board control, but I guess. If he doesn't play something here, I'm fine, but. Yeah, I'm still kind of in a really weird place. Still in a bad place. I'm definitely behind now. Um, I hope you like my invention. Practice makes perfect. It's kind of a cool combo, actually. It makes novice engineer way better if you can force a taunt. But he'll probably trade that and then this, maybe. You can sound some of these things at least. I could really use a uh, Consecrate or some shit, but I don't think I have one. I don't think it exists. Do I get a dragon? Okay, that helps a lot. Unfortunately. I think I can hit that. This isn't a bad play. I think this is the best thing that I can do right now. What now? I guess I might as well hit this one, huh? The power of black Get potentially at least two cards out of this. He'll trade it with probably Fen Reaver in a 1 1 plus play another card. I probably lost, yeah. I've lost my lost my board control. Am I might play in Dota later? Um, no promises. I'll probably try to do like two arena runs. God, I hate that card. It's so good. The card is so good. It's so good. I can silence him and dick him at least. That'll be good. Your magic shall not save you. That actually hurt him really bad. Alright, so now our cards are approximately equal, but now he's got 7 mana to play. That actually dicked him pretty bad. I feel like I don't draft enough silences when I play Arena. Where is it? There. That already is a trade, plus you have lasting plus 3 attack. It's so good. That was, that was fucking value right there. 
Got two silver hand recruits and did one damage to this guy. I think that's completely worth it for a card. Unfortunately, I'm about to lose a lot of shit. Alright, that is not going to be the solution that I need. Um, I can't even play both of those. That's fucking obnoxious. I can play dragon and this guy, but then I'm going to have to trade two for this. Definitely going to play the dragon. Alright, good. Fine, so trade, trade. I don't know if it'll hit this or not. Or you could do trade, trade, trade. For I'm fucked. <laughs> Fucking lost. <laughs> Fucking lost. Reporting for duty. And we're terrible for arena. Yeah, pretty much every single time that I play Warrior in Arena, it does not go well. Well, that was awfully confusing. I really felt like he was gonna do more than that. Do I double play? I think I'm kind of fucked no matter what. I don't, I don't really think there's a way I can board control. I would like to draw cards. Alright, that was a waste. Should have played. Should have remembered that, like, I don't have anything that's gonna board clear efficiently. Except for maybe like an execute. If I got an execute there, I could have traded and executed. That would have been good. But that's pretty much all I'm going to get out of this. Um, I probably have to armor, which puts me at five. So I feel like I have to do this. Yeah, yeah, you've got to be kidding me. That'll give me four. Um, so now I just board control, I guess. Um, fortunately, this is probably my best trade, Fire. I think. Kill this, I guess. Maybe should I should have killed the silver hand recruit, I think, because there's ways to buff it. 9, 13, 14, 15. Probably still dead. 11, 15. Just concede. I don't do that shit, okay, guys? Alright? I don't give up. It's not looking good. He board controlled, I guess. That's kind of cool. Do I have a dragon? I do, yes. Oh, this is actually getting into an area where I could actually maybe win. Um, four, eight, ten. I think I'm cool with this. It's not like amazing, but... It gives more board control than the Boulder Fist, I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe Boulder Fist would have been better. It wouldn't have been able to clear as many targets, though. This gives me a better chance to float my board later. Okay. Alright, that's unfortunate. This one would have been way better for me. Reduce damage by four. Okay. Still fucked, I think. Still fucked. Yeah, I should I should have killed the silver hand. I agree with that completely. All right, I think I lost. We must lens the sun well. Three, four, eight, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Ogre brute. Ogre brute. Ogre brute. He'll see the flashing. Maybe he'll take the trade. Take the trade. Damn it. Wait, I thought this always gets taunt. Oh, I'm thinking of something else, maybe. Alright. Take those trades, baby. Yeah! Alright, how does this... I, I thought this gets taunt. I'm confused. Maybe I'm thinking of a different character. Oh, this is fucking value. That'll put me up to six. Which means I should probably hit the Yeti, I feel. Alright, if somehow all of the cards in his hand are worthless, this is great for me. I can stealth that so I get another value out of it. Who the fuck said concede? Who said it? Who said it? Alright, still getting back there though. 
just to get stuff. Value is lost. Reporting for duty. Not looking good. Oh, baby! Oh! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna wait for chat to catch up to that moment because that was. I feel like I have to kill the four two, unfortunately. Mm. I executed this creature, and it's a way to like. I don't have any way to. I don't have any board control, so I'm, I'm probably fucked. Unless I draw like amazing taunts for the rest of the game or some shit. And at some point, he's gonna draw a fucking tier and fordering, and then I just lose anyways. This might be it, guys. All right, that's it. We have lost. But it looked good for a while, there, did it not? <laughs> All right, we've lost our first arena. Let's uh, hope for some legendaries. Nah, I really, I really don't care. I almost never play constructed. Anyways, oh, two boxes. Well, at least I got gold out of it. That makes me feel a little better. Another. I actually don't have all these ones. So it's just puddle stomper. I will destroy that. Give me that dust. Uh, you. Where you at? Get fucked. I don't give a shit about golds. It's inefficient to care about golds. Okay. Am I gonna no integrity paladin? Shaman's pretty good too, actually. I think, but I think paladin is better. Storm, earth, and fire. Because I have integrity, I'm gonna go with Shaman. Uh, Feral Spirits, probably the best one. Uh, this one's a little harder. I feel like Gnomish is the way to go. I just don't feel like streaming Dota right now, so I thought I would stream something else. I feel like this card's okay, but it's probably not quite as good as the other one. Priest to Riot, right away. Can't attack, inspire. Uh, one of these for sure. This one's pretty good because I could do it with totems. I'm not sure if I like this card or not. I guess silencing it would make it a lot better. I'd rather go Sun Fury, I think. Um, this is a pretty good card, I feel. Is there a welcome to Hearthstone you stuck? I no, I have not made that. I'm sorry. Darwolf's okay with uh, Shaman. Fork Lightning's good too, but I, I doubt it sometimes. From patron dude. Uh, Ancient Mage is okay with Shaman because you have totems, but I don't think it's a very good card. I don't have any secrets. I feel like Grim Patron's the play here. I feel like those two cards kind of just suck. This card's really good, I think. Dino Creeper, Iron Beak, I will, I will draft that. Cult Master, River Croc. Uh, I feel like Cult Master's the play, but. Okay, there we go, baby. Easy. Earth Elemental. Uh, this card's really good. This card's pretty good in Shaman. I think this card's super good. I already have a lot of 4 drops, though. I don't know, Abusive Sergeant's so good in Shaman. God. I do need it. I did need a 2 drop before, but I don't know. I'm bad at this game. It's hard to it's hard to stream something like this when you know that you're bad and have everyone judge you. It's a very difficult thing for me to do. Because I know that I'm bad and I want to be good at it. And everybody just it's just like publicly shaming. It's like when you play CSGO. Uh god, I don't know. The taunt. I don't I don't know about that. Fire guard. Fire guard. Everyone's saying fire guard. I actually really like this card. I think it's pretty good. Well mind control is probably too good to pass up. Uh, I like Stormwind a lot, but I feel like I need more 2 drops. This card's pretty baller. If I have a mech, 
thought it was enemies. I have no mechs. Cogmaster blows. I don't like any of these cards really, but I'll take this one I guess. Uh, fuck man. I'm like way too focused and... Uh, I'll take that. God, so many shit cards, guys. I barely have any totems. I don't even like tournament medic. I think I'd rather wolf rider here because I don't have very much board clear. I will fucking take this any day of the week. This card's so good. Alright, how much overload shit do I have? All those other cards kind of suck, so I feel like this is an obvious... I have two two overload things. I feel like this card's okay. It's not amazing, it's... Fen Creeper or Silence. I have pretty bad disable right now. So I feel like Silence is better. I've already got a 5 cost time. Not that that makes that big of a difference, but... Uh, easy flame tongue, I think. Oh, another mind control. Um, more mind control decks, I guess. Elven Archer is not really good. I do have a flame tongue, I guess, but this card's just simply not good. Like all, literally, all my cards are between two and five. Like what the fuck? I don't think I have any dragons, so I don't think I can take that card, but. No dragons. Zero dragons. Okay. Uh, take a 2-3, I guess. Inspire, gain one health. That card's pretty good. I could also take an owl. I took the silence, didn't I? Yeah, but I don't think it's bad to have another one. But my early game... I've got decent two drops right now. I feel like I can maybe skip this, but it's actually really good with Shaman, I feel. I feel like I could get really good value out of that. I could basically get like a 3-3 three, three for two. That's really good. Do I have an inspired deck? Is that really true? Not really. I guess I do have this card though. Everybody's saying owl big time. Alright, I'll, I'll keep the owl. Easy. Dark scale healer, Fort Laning, novice engineer. I feel like I should take the four planing because I don't have good board clear, and I also have an unbound, so the overload isn't the worst, but it's kind of bad. But dark scale is pretty good on shaman, I feel. And my late game creatures, I don't really have any. Hmm. Um, I think I'll take the axe here. I need more board control. Dust Devil's bad. This card's situationally good. I really don't have that many good four drops. I feel like I actually want to take the beast here. Maybe that's crazy, but... Okay, so now I get the good cards. Dark Iron Dwarf is one of the best four drops in Spider Tanks. Maybe the best three drop, but I already have a lot of three drops, so I'll probably skip Spider Tank. As I just said, I don't have very many four drops, so... And Dark Iron's really good on Shaman anyways, because you have totems. Again, do I play another ship's cannon? Do I actually have any pirates? I don't think I do. I'm sure there's no pirates this far down. God, that just sucks. Uh, but I don't feel like I need more two drops, so I feel like it's just actually better if I get... Maybe I'm fucking crazy, but I feel like it's actually better if I get the Elven Nurture. Oh, that's really good. Um... Yeah, I think skull games. Alright, I don't know. Yeah, I knew the horse rider is like really good, but I don't know. Could you in theory choose any card in the arena? Yeah, you don't have to own any cards to play arena. That's what's kinda nice about arena. If you're new to the game you should probably play arena. Because you can you're kind of on an equal footing with everybody. Whereas if you play Constructed, you're kind of just fucked. So I don't really recommend. I will fight with honor. Oh, three. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I actually got a really good hand. I think. Can Whirling first? Uh, I might want to do it on turn two, though. 
If I do it on turn two, then I can't play the Shattered Sun after, and I'd have to taunt it. But I think I can. I can think. I, I feel like I have to honestly. It's like too good not to rush out because I could do six damage. I could board clear and do three damage if he plays a fucking reinforce. squelching people in this game. I just don't give a fuck. Alright, so board control? Pretty clear. I could also go for a totem, but I feel like that's probably not worth it. It's probably better just to have board control. So I'll just... Even though it's a taunt on the wrong character, I don't know, whatever. I'd rather just have a 2-3 on the board. And he's already wasted a turn, basically, so... Traded a turn for 3 HP, which I'm, I'm totally cool with. Uh, and then I can buff it up, or I can drop the, the Stealth Knight, Silent Knight. Mm. This is a cool card, I like, I like the idea a lot, it's really cool. Thanks Harris Kid. 1, 2, 3, appreciate it. Pretty big misplay, you really think so? Reporting for duty. You think I should have totem? Like, yeah, I can get a healing totem, but I could healing totem now, or something. I don't think that was bad at all. See, because now I can do this. Whereas if I get like a spell totem or some shit, I just get fucking wrecked. He might just consecrate, in which case I get fucking wrecked here. But I still have a pretty good board, and I can do a ton of damage right now. Like, I basically banked on him having a shit hand, and he had a shit hand, or he realized that anything he could play would be a bad trade, so he didn't bother. He consecrates, okay. So I'm gonna get wrecked here, but... I don't know, I got him pretty low. I'm starting the turn off ahead of him. I could also just play the Gnomish, which also still... I think I'll Gnomish here, because then I have pretty safe board control. I, I'm now card advantage. I have huge HP advantage. Like, I, th I think that was fine. Lost interest in Dota, just trying different games. Just playing different games on stream. I've always played a couple different games, but I, I didn't really ever stream them, because I didn't really want to. So I just figured I'll stream some other games once in a while. Because I, I know people really like them on YouTube, I'm sure. Because, like, like, people expect me to stream Dota all the time. But I don't think there's anything wrong with uploading a different game to YouTube. Because if people don't want to watch it, they don't have to. So, do I Wolf Rider here? I could Wolf Rider, and then Flame Juggler, for whatever's left over. And then also hit it with the 2-4. So I think that's probably the best play. Because then I'm still getting pretty good value, unless he plays... If that's the card that I think it is, then I'm kind of wrecked here. But I don't really know. I feel like because he played a secret, it's better if I just play safe. But he'll also trade this and wreck me there. But if it is, I would be trading a Wolf Rider for that. I, wonder. I think it's still fine, because if this hits that, I can always use this. Oh, I guess I might not hit the right target, but... Yeah. Okay, we got kind of wrecked. Um... I feel like I had to do that, and then I could play the 2-3 or a totem. I'd rather I'd rather play this, I think, because I have ways to buff it. As great as a heal would be. This is probably Avenge, based on the fact that he played it. Maybe he was expecting that he would keep a creature alive and he'd be safe. But I think this is better. My board controls there. He's just one Consecrate. I've got good scaling. Really good scaling. I've got good trading with Dark Rain. I think I'm in a good place right now. Let's see if he does that. Okay. That and that. So he still doesn't have board control, so I'm gonna get to play a, uh, a Boulder Fist. Or... I'm gonna have six, I'm not gonna be able to do... That's weird. I'm surprised he played that. That was a waste of his time, I think. I could play Pilot at Sky, but he's just gonna hit it with his True Silver. I'd rather hit that and then drop the boulder, I think. Because it's... It more, might more likely trade as true silver and also something else. Whenever I get pilot sky golem, I like never fucking play it because I'm always like, oh, it's going to trade inefficiently. But it does give you a four drop. But I don't want to trade the, the first one for a true silver. I feel like that is dangerous. 
I would rather it be a creature. Mm. I feel like this puts him in a worse place. Hearthstone is literally the worst game for backseat. It is, because you can exactly see what you should have done, and it all comes down to thinking. It doesn't come down to, like, performance. That part makes it harder. Okay, that is one solution. Divine shield it up. I fucking hate it when I have, like, big creature and they play Noitrons. Well, he's actually gonna hit it. I hope he hits it. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. But I'm alright with this. It's not that bad. I could also drop Ogre Fire Guard. I kind of like that better, I think. Or I could play the Silent Knight. I'd rather drop the Ogre, I think. Eh. I think I'd rather Silent Knight because there's more creeps on the board. Got a little unlucky, but. Oh, that's competitive spirit. Alright, he got really good value out of that. That was just fucking stupid. I don't understand why he would play that so early. Like, you don't pl you don't play this card on turn one, because the chance of it paying off for three creatures is so unlikely. Like, if I would have left any board creatures on the board, he just would have been dicked. It would have given him, like, a plus one, plus one, which is basically a one-one for one card. That's not worth it. The fact that he got this was kind of lucky. That he just happened to have all this small shit that was almost impossible for me to kill. But either way, he's still not going to trade really efficiently. He's still trading cards for, like, part of an ogre. And the ogre already traded with something. I can't remember what it was. Hit two there. Oh, and he hit me for one there. So I'm basically trading an ogre for two shitty creatures. He might go straight. If he does, I'm happy. Okay, that'll trade over there. You traded that one for one. Yeah, you can't hit that, buddy. Okay, I'm a little surprised about that. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Someone call so I can buff this up, kill that. Or I can just mind control deck. This is okay because I can still use Dark Iron after. Oh, baby! All right, we just we just fucking like won the game basically. Um. Buff this up, kill that. Do I hit face? I feel like I should hit face, because he's going to hit it anyways. I already got super value from mind control, so... He'll trade this. If he consecrates, then yeah, I lose some value. But I'm willing to trade 6 damage for a 2-2, I guess. Especially because our hands are equal and I still have pretty good cards. Damn. I've been wrecked. Light you. Shouldn't have the buff. Yep. Yeah, so I still got value. Dangerous. And now he's out of cards too. So I'm in a really good place. That. I guess I can't kill that super easy, but. That's smart because that saves him a divine shield. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Ugh. I really should do. It's going to take three creatures to kill that. It's really unfortunate. But I get Cold Master out of it. Hmm. Or I could just Sky Golem and Ogre. I draw three cards, and he has no cards. I feel like it's worth it. Because I should be able to outplay him since it's late game. I feel like it's kind of dangerous to do this, but uh, that's seven. And I'm going to draw cards while I do this, so... I feel like I might as well... Alright, we just fucking won the game. That was really lucky. To battle. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, that was the better play by far to lay Cold Nestor there. So I was gonna get card advantage, and there was a chance that I just drew something that helped me clear the board easier. I could have drawn the fucking um No, I guess that wouldn't have worked. The archer. I needed two damage, not one. I got really lucky though. I wonder. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so That's great. All right, I won. Game's over. Um, finally, play the piloted sky golem. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that my first totem? I think that's my first totem. Now I usually just shoot arrows at the target. For lulz. I actually really like this deck. I, I played a... or this card. I played a Paladin um, game the other day where I had this card and it like helped me board control so much. And then the, the games, I went 8-0 no to start, and then I went 1-3 and three and ended 9-3. and three. But when I got this card, it just like helps you board control so fucking much. It's great. And I realized late game, or when I was losing a lot, it was always because I didn't have very much board control. And I would always get too behind. And it, like most of the time I'd get Argent Lance and just like start wrecking the board from the start. Please don't waste my time. He's already wasting my time. Quickly. Let me think. Stop playing Dota after Rush Pit was moved. Any major changes? Should you go back to playing? Um, that was a bad time for Dota when you quit. That was when uh, Troll and Sniper, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, I feel like the game's in a pretty good place right now. There's about to be a new patch, so I think it might be fun for you to start playing again. I, th I think Dota is consistently like just a really fun game. Nothing wrong with playing Dota. If you want to come back, come play. That's what it comes up to. Is that really that BM? He just fucking AFK'd because he knew he was going to lose. I think that's way more BM than me dropping a card first. Like, Let me play it, dude. It's that simple. CS time? I'm, uh, I don't know about that. I'm going to play one more Hearthstone, then we can go CS. I think Lesh will get nerfed. Lesh will definitely get nerfed. Probably oh, slow I amount. I think his, his lightning storm slows for too long I and by too much. Before you couldn't cast lightning and then stun afterwards. Um, I'm cool with this, I think. Drop this, drop totem, play Silent Knight, or Unbound. Pretty easy. No pirates, but doesn't matter. question is do I drop ship's cannon or do I drop the totem I think if I have to kill a well I'll have to kill a reinforce at the very least I doubt he'll play something that does nothing so because I have to kill this I think I'm gonna drop ship's cannons first and then I'll drop flame tongue afterwards that's what I'm gonna do so lucky to get this because I only have one I think if I get this at the beginning of every game it's such a big advantage because now he has tons of pressure on him he could take up to eight damage this turn he can't just like lollygag don't worry, loves. The right, I got back. That's okay. I will play Unbound. Uh, no, I should play this guy because I can buff him in two different ways, and the, the trading will just be so efficient. Like, if I didn't have Divine Shield, I'll play the Unbound though because his toughness is so high, so I could potentially get double value. I'm in a really good spot. Inspire, that would be three, but it doesn't really matter. Only downside is that there's a a little dude over there, so I kinda have to trade. Or I could play Cult Master. I don't think this is a good Cult Master though, because I'd only get half value. I think I towed him here. I let that die. I don't want to trade the Divine Shield though. I guess I have to. Don't really like this play. You know what I should do instead? I should give uh, Dark Iron plus two. I think this is better, because then I have a uh, Dark Iron on the board instead of a Totem. This is much better. So I got two character value out of Ship's Cannon. Well, I got uh, a card and a Hero Power. That's not good. I don't really like any of my plays right now. 
need a creature to die. Alright, that makes sense even worse. I kind of am wrecked here. I'm gonna lose my Dark Iron for sure. What I could do is I could hit this to this. Or, well, I, I might as well do this, this, and then head. Don't really want a Grim Patron. Using the Flame Tongue does nothing. Because it's a Divine Shield. I could also Cult Master. That might also be a play, because then he'd be forced to hit the Cult Master. And I would be able to trade on him. I think that's a decent play. Because anything else that I play is just going to die for nothing. Unless I get a Taunt. Which I think might be a better play than playing the Cult Master. Let's get a Taunt see what it'll get. Might get a taunt. Don't get a taunt. So I guess I just flood the board. Trade this. If he has a consecrate, I'm gonna get wrecked. But because then he would play consecrate, trade the board. I would have like a. That's optimistic. I feel. <laughs> Oh, that one didn't go the way that you wanted it to, that's for sure. What a shit play. Alright, so now everything's gonna heal to full. I could do... I could silence it. I could also just Cult Master. I think I'll just Cult Master. I really want this to stay alive. I could also give it plus two to trade the totem, but... I guess if it... Mm, I mean, I'm still very much a Consecrate target, I guess. I would rather just clear the board. Silence. I'll do this. Blow. So basically his uh, Avenging Wrath did nothing. Because he already had enough damage to kill everything. Alright, we're in a good spot. This is really, really good. Oh, that's actually a good, some good value there. Okay, six damage. I could do two. Could also inspire, and I would probably get a taunt. Fifty percent chance to get a taunt. Or I could play that and play a taunt. I would do five with two left over. And I could silence this. I wonder. I feel like I should probably totem though. Before six. Could buff this up. Hit this trade. Should give me six here and two here. Um, hmm. Five, two. I think that's my play. It is first. Makes me hero power one. Is that going to silence? I don't think I want to. I just want to trade. Um, let's see what we get and then we'll make a decision. I would love a taunt. That's unlucky. Um, that's unfortunate. I can silence it though. And I get a card out of that, and I healed from it. I think that was about right. Uh, this is overkill, but... I wanted to clear the board, so if he hits this, I actually get a good trade out of it. Okay. Now we'll see what he does. Alright, he just got so many cards from that, holy shit. So, if he hits face, that would be best for me, but I don't think he will. He kinda needs to though, because I'm gonna get so much value from this Flame Tongue. If he hits Flame Tongue, I draw a card. If he hits my... Alright, that's fine with me. It kills my damage a lot, but I get to draw a card from it. It's not the worst. Wish he would play one more creature, but he doesn't have mana. Um, silence this. These two kill that. So this will be like a 2-5, which is not that bad. Grim Patron. Kill that. Silence that. 3-5, or 2-5. Kill this. Get a heal. And then play the board. So then I have 6 mana left. So I guess I play the Sky Golem. This first, so I can draw a card from it. Get another.
another silence. Uh, that's okay. I got super value from that guy, so I think it's fine. And then play this. I've already got enough cards, so I think. And then I get a heal from this as well. That's pretty value. Although we're equal in cards now, so things get kind of tricky. But I have a really good board right now. You could clear it with Consecrate, but it's a little shitty thing, so it doesn't matter that much. I still have a Sky Golem. That's right. Flood your board, baby. Flood that board. Alright, good. I thought he was gonna like mind control or some shit. I got scared. I know he does he can't do that, but well, that's a pretty crap card now, but it's still a four. I could silence it to give it bonus damage, but then I lose the thing, unfortunately. Kinda wrecked there. Alright, let's take one of your creatures. First I will trade. Yeah, first I'll trade one of your one ones away so I can get something better. I think that was the right choice for me. Um, trade three that puts me at six, so I can't. Oh, I can because they only cost one. I can play this guy. I think that's probably my play. Get a six six with the option for more, plus a totem. Like that's good. All right. Trade. Cool with that. This blade. Job's done. I think this is the plus one plus one thing. And he'll get a lot out of it, but I'm mostly healing for three. <coughs> I don't really have good ways of trading that stuff anyway, so that's fine. And he also doesn't get extra out of it. See, he only got plus two plus two. This card's really not that good, I don't think. It's okay, but it's not that good. Everybody has the fucking Reporting cards. This board just fucking filled up. Alright, could he got a shitty one of these? It's actually almost even now. This is actually getting scary. He has to kill this, I think, before it gets overpowered. But I also have too many creatures on the board. Things are actually about even. The fact that he had two of these fucking bullshit cards made things. This card is really fucking good. This card is so fucking good. Let me think. Did I misplay somehow? What did I do? Not silence? Should I have silenced? I don't know. Maybe I could have buffed something. I'm not quite sure what you guys are referring to. I'm definitely silencing that guy. Is he hitting something? Did he hit something? Fuck, he's gonna kill my guy. Oh, maybe he... I think he just ran out of time. Why would he buff this with that and not actually kill something with it? It's really Your confusing. Magic shall not save you. Okay. In that case. I have very Take good ways. If I play a, a totem, then I lose my board. Because I can't play anymore, but it still gives him plus two, plus two. I feel like I might as well. But then I actually can't play any of my cards. And some of them are actually really hard to trade. I feel like I should. I'll do this, I think. I'll just keep trading. As long as he doesn't get another one of those fucking cards, should be fine. So, I need three damage, so let's do this. God, I have so many cards. Um. Okay, 
once we do this. We must cleanse the sun well. Take this blade. I don't want that. One shot. <laughs> it's the fucking shittiest board I've ever fucking seen. I can't even play more cards. It's actually the worst board I've ever seen. I have so many fucking worthless cards. They're actually all so bad. I'm gonna have to trade like four cards to get this guy, which is worth it, but, but holy shit, man. Alright. Let's trade you, because you're worthless. Three. That guy actually does have some value. That's six. Push forward. Alright. I should have moved that, I think. I'd rather play Totem. Okay. How much have I improved in CSGO? I don't know, because I don't know when the last time you watched me was. I don't, I don't understand why this guy still thinks he can win. It's kind of weird. Um... You know what I should have done? I should have kept the Grim Patron with uh, the Archer, and then I could have played him and buffed him. That was a mistake. That would have been good. It's getting hot in here. Okay. Um. Let's continue to not have a proper board. Patron enforces no hero power. Yeah, that's true. Well, not really, because I have too much board anyways. Literally swarmed him with a bunch of shitty cards. I think we won. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, we won. Take this, blade. this is like such a good 4 drop to get, kind of. I got two cards out of it, that was kind of cool. Alright. We did it, guys. Alright, we're gonna go play CSGO now.